Well, you would think rain would be good for crops, but this season has been a little too wet and it's causing cherry harvest to be a little later than usual. 7 and 4's Brittany Beauty spoke to local growers today about the challenges they're facing. She joins us now live from Leelanau County. Brittany? Kristen, the cooler spring and the rain really push back harvest, but even now that it's warmer, the humidity is posing different challenges such as pests and diseases. You know, we've got a pretty decent crop out there, but it looks like we're about 10 days to maybe even to two weeks behind. While the abundance of rain this past spring makes for beautiful growth, it also makes the cherry orchards more susceptible. The longer the fruits on the tree, the more we have to protect them or the longer we have to protect them. So from insect pests and diseases. So to stay on top of things, local growers meet with the Michigan State University Extension every week to figure out the best way to manage the pests and diseases that may be on the horizon. And unfortunately, I'm going to tell them that we have leaf spot out there. So that's a fungal disease that really loves this weather. And the leaf spot will cause them to yellow up and fall off. Well, they do that, then they can't ripen the cherries. So then that's a real loss for a grower if he can't, if he can't uh, harvest them. Growers can spray materials to help prevent the cherry leaf spot, but this year there's also an invasive insect pest to worry about. Spotted wing drosophila. And that pest really likes warm weather and it really likes pretty high humidity. So I think that's what's coming in the future. So I think the numbers, those guys can have a generation every seven days. And the more rain we get, the more problems that could arise. Too much water can cause the cherries to crack. There's a secondary disease that comes in on those cracks called American brown rot. And again, that's a fungal disease that loves warm and wet. So I'm hoping the cracking uh, doesn't happen or is to a minimum. So needless to say, a farmer's job is hard to predict. Well, it's just you got to live each day for, for the day. But thanks to passion and persistency from our local farmers, we may have to wait a little longer, but we can still buy local. So now when the Michigan ones get come on, Everybody be hungry and we'll, we'll have a good market. So we won't have to wait too much longer for sweet cherries. Barton Hagen says he expects to get them off in about two weeks. Reporting live in Leelanau County, Brittany Beauty, 7 and 4 News. All right, thanks, Brittany.